Now, have you ever wondered if there was a way to transport vital products such as blood, medicine, or even vaccines to inaccessible areas across the country? Well, that's actually possible. A company based in Rwanda is manufacturing drones that carry these items within an 80-kilometer radius, therefore saving lives. Saida Swale visited this station and brings us the story. It swiftly cuts through the wind, flapping away like a toy. But this gadget is carrying a life and death product that would determine the well being of a patient. This is at the zipline station in Mohanga, Rwanda. Many owe their lives to the existence of this station, all because of a drone. It mimics an aeroplane from its model and its work, but its weight does not allow it to carry passengers. Unlike most drones used in the film industry to take aerial shots of places, this is a drone that is used purely to transport blood, medicine and vaccines to far-flung hospitals within Rwanda. It uses electricity to operate, traveling at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour. We use small autonomous aircraft, so people call them drones, um, to deliver blood, medicines, vaccines, you know, any kind of critical medical supplies um, to very far distances. We have like half of the half of the business is the, the medical fulfillment side, dealing with uh, medical packaging um, and products, and then that gets handed off to a flight operator once an order comes in. Um, the flight operator puts it into an aircraft and puts it on a long Launcher. That launcher then launches the aircraft up to 100 kilometers an hour in about a third of a second, and it can fly up to about um, 80 kilometers away. With its assembly plant in the U.S., Zipline Company has set base in Rwanda and Ghana through the facilitation of the government in conjunction with the Ministry of Health. See, once it takes off, an SMS alert is sent to the recipient of the package, who then receives it in a matter of minutes. The aircraft will then drop the package by a parachute and return back to home. And then at that point, um, the medical technician at the hospital or the health facility will retrieve the, um, the parachute package and they land in an area that they designate to us. So we always land in the same spot. When it touches down, a nurse is sent to receive the very urgent package and quickly rushes the medicine or blood to the patient who is in dire need of it. Several, I guess, entities benefit. So the Ministry of Health benefits because it uh, allows them to make all of their national stock available to every facility equally. Um, but also the hospitals benefit because now they never run out of stock of anything. So anytime there's uh, a shortage or something runs out, um, they can just order more and Zipline will deliver it to them. Uh, also, if there's an emergency situation, if they have a patient that comes in and needs you know, something life-saving in a critical emergency, um, the hospital can just ask for it and it's there in minutes. Rwanda may be a small country of a thousand hills compared to its sister Kenya with a population of 11 million. This then makes the transport swift with no limitations to different weather conditions. There's two rainy seasons here in Rwanda um, as there are many places here um, in Africa and during those seasons it could take you know five six hours or, or even a day if a road gets flooded and shut down to deliver medicines and so if a patient comes in and it, there's, you know, there's not a particular blood type. We started with blood because it was the most urgent. Then a doctor would have to drive in an ambulance to the, uh, you know, central facility in Kigali. They'd have to requisition the, the products with paper forms, pick them up, and then drive them back. And that could take hours or, you know, it could take a day. The drone has already completed over 11,500 trips, revolutionizing the medical industry through technology with the blessings of the local civil aviation company. The Civil Aviation Authority reviews all of these routes and they also tell us where, what, what areas to avoid. They don't have to tell us what they are, they just have to tell us what areas to keep out of. We call them keep out zones. So, you know, it, it, could, be, um, it could be a military base, it could be cell towers, it could be, um, you know, some kind of uh, like VIP area. Statistics has shown that hundreds of women across the globe lose their lives while bringing life on this earth because of hemorrhage. This innovation has ensured that maternal deaths and infant mortalities are reduced or, in other cases, averted. This way, children are brought up in the company of the special caregivers, their mothers. Saida Swale, Citizen TV, from Muhanga, Rwanda.